So, Willie, it's always interesting, isn't it, in, in the mind of Kirsten Cinema? We don't actually know what's going on in the mind of Kirsten Cinema, but sometimes we can look at her and we can ask ourselves, what's she thinking? What's going on in that mind of her? Well, it's moved in quite a, a unique direction uh, over the past few minutes, and you have breaking news. It's just into us from Politico, Jonathan Lemire's colleague uh, Burgess there. Arizona Senator Kirsten Cinema has announced she will be leaving the Democratic Party and will register as an independent. The senator said, quote, I know some people might be a little bit surprised by this, but actually, I think it makes a lot of sense. The senator did not say whether she would caucus with Democrats or with Republicans. So, Jonathan Lemire, I'm just reading through Burgess Everett's story. Your colleague here just posted to Politico this interview where Kirsten Cinema, Senator Cinema, announced she's leaving the Democratic Party, which raises the question: Democrats just won the Senate improbably to get to 51 votes. What does this mean for that balance now in the Senate? Yeah, an absolute bombshell this morning, Willie, and certainly Democrats. Very relieved that they won the Georgia runoff. Uh, Kirsten Cinema says, as you just said, she's, quote, I never fit neatly into any party box, she believes, and doesn't want to. She is registering as an independent. Now, she is saying, though, that she intends to keep her committee assignments, which is a signal uh, that she doesn't plan to upend how the Senate uh, is organized. Therefore, because Senate Majority Leader Schumer, with the Democrats having 51, controls the committee assignments. So, though she's not committing to caucus with the Democrats, she's sort of telegraphing that she will. She's claiming this won't change anything, that she'll still be who she always is. We should note that there are two other independents, Bernie Sanders of Vermont and Angus King of Maine, who also uh, caucus with the Democrats. So perhaps Cinema is doing that as well. So we don't know yet how much this will change. Democrats have 51 votes in the Senate. But it certainly seems to be a signal from Cinema that they shouldn't count on her support. We know that she was frustrating to say the least over the last two years to many Democrats. She didn't support a lot of their initiatives, along with, at times, Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia. And the Democrats were so pleased by getting that 51st vote uh, with Georgia, uh, because therefore they would be a little less reliant on those two. That seems a little more in doubt right now. We should also notice, note that in this interview, Cinema does not commit to running for re-election. But there's a safe bet. There was already growing talk among Democrats that she would be primaried were she to stand for re-election. That is certainly the case now, that she would face far more opposition. That's a safe bet this morning. But again, the bombshell, Kirsten Sinema leaving the Democratic Party just days after Democrats secured that 51st vote in the Senate. Well, I, I, you, you look at her poll numbers in the state of Arizona. Politically, it makes pretty good sense. She does well with independents. She does okay with Republicans, not quite as well with Democrats. Uh, so her approval ratings over the past few years, while she's been uh, criticized in Washington, D.C., have been fairly strong in Arizona and typically a little bit stronger than Mark Kelly's. Uh, but, but it's so interesting, Caddy Kay. Uh, Democrats were so frustrated by Joe Manchin because Joe was out front, right? But there were so many times when they would be close to a deal on reversing Trump's tax cuts, the worst parts of Trump's tax cuts, if, if you consider giveaways to billionaires and multinational corporations a bad thing. And Kirsten Sinema would be the 50th vote getting in the way. The same thing with, with, with uh, Big Pharma. Uh, there are many times when Manchin was actually lined up with the rest of the Democratic Party to move aggressively uh, to reform some, some, some parts of, of of the the big pharma market, uh, and it was, Kirsten Cinema was the person standing in the way. So, um, yes, it's. I think Democrats are going to be frustrated, but at the same time, uh, she was going to be facing a tough primary challenge uh, in a state where she's not beloved by Democrats. Yeah, and she was often the stumbling block, and particularly when it came to issues surrounding her, her financial backers or her friends in the financial industry or in the pharmaceutical industry, as you say. And she she would keep her views to herself on other issues. It was when it came to the infrastructure bill, for example, it took a you know, and the Build Back Better bill didn't go through in the end. It was Kirsten Cinema that we couldn't really get a response out of. We knew what Joe Manchin thought. He was very public about what he thought, but Cinema kind of kept her cards very close to her chest, and that was almost and and it was not very easy to 
find out what she actually believed and that could be actually more frustrating for the administration so I don't think this will come as a surprise to anybody if she carries on caucusing with the Democrats as she's suggesting she is inclined to if she wants to keep her committee assignments uh, then it won't change very much and anyway look you know you look over the next two years what's the Senate going to be doing it's not going to be big pieces of financial legislation or big pieces of legislation that might upset her own supporters or her, who people she considers her base in the finance or business community so it would be on uh, administration appointments or uh, court appointments judges and I, I wonder whether she'd be inclined to to caucus with the Republicans on issues like that so perhaps it won't change very much over the next two years well and, and, and Willie we just saw again Lisa Murkowski doing what many people across the country can't do. She said no to Donald Trump this time. She mm -hmm. got reelected. The Tea Party came after her, I believe, in 2010. Uh, she got defeated in a primary. She, she ran uh, as a write-in candidate as independent, where you actually had to spell the name Murkowski right. She mm -hmm. won there as well. So in certain states, being an independent actually works very well. It works great for Angus King. It certainly worked for Bernie Sanders for quite some time in a state the yes, Vermont's liberal, but also it's got a very popular Republican governor. Yeah. Arizona is a swing state, and actually, um, this seems to make a lot of political sense for Kirsten Cinema. May end up uh, backfiring, but if you just look at Arizona, you look at the number of independents, you look at the fact that it is really, it's the swing state along with Georgia right now. This actually seems like a pretty smart political move for her. And there are a lot of Democrats who are going to be saying this morning, good riddance. Yeah, and we will see, as, as John pointed out rightly, independents Angus King, independent Bernie Sanders, both caucus by and large almost exclusively with the Democrats. So we'll see if Kirsten Sinema is that same kind of independent. She said to Politico, nothing will change about my values, nothing will change about my behavior, suggesting that she will continue to vote with Democrats. We will see.